Okay, so this video is going to be covering uh, mixed cell references. When we're talking about those, we mean uh, the language we use is relative, absolute, and mixed. Um, this is uh, going to show you how to apply them correctly, why apply them as well, always important, and using the F4 function key. And there's some number formatting that's been popped in there as well. Um, for example, how to combine a, a character, which is uh, the letters and data in the same cell. So hopefully it'll all help somewhere. And so in the syllabus you can have, um, if we look at this one here, and I select the A3 in the formula bar, if I use the F4 function key to jump through the different areas, we have, this is an absolute, so both column and row are absolute, the A and the three. If we click again, we have a mixed cell reference whereby the three, the row, is only absoluted. Click again, we have the A, the column only absoluted, and the relative cell is where the A3, if it was autofilled across, would become B, uh, B3, C3, D3 automatically. Okay, so what we need to do in this is we need to um, look at, let's ha happen, see what happens when we do the same to the B2, make it back to relative and tick the little tick. When we take that through on an autofill across and then a total autofill down the row, we've done the column and we've done the row. So going across, has worked on the first one. As far as the top's concerned, the first, very first one's work, but after that, this stays, this moves relatively across to B3, C3, just as we said it would. And when we took it down, it didn't work either because it came down here and it came down there. So it came down okay here, but it came down there. So what we need to do is we need to change it so that when we autofill across, it moves across there but stays on A3. And when we take it down the uh, row, it's a B2. This moves down, um, but this stays the same. So let's have a look in practice, because sometimes trying to explain it is always difficult. So let's make it um, absolute. And that would work, would it? So let's tap it again and make it by column. That's by row, because it's in front of the three. So we need the dollar sign in front of the column, that works. If we then tick that and we take it across, that should work in theory. If we click on these, you can see it's worked. It stayed on A3, but it's moving across the column correctly, okay? But then if we take that down, the B2 will still stay relative, so in a sense that's not going to work, is it? As you can see, this has moved down. As I've moved down the row, this has moved down as well in the different answers. Back to the first one. So if we make this mix cell referencing, let's go to the absolute first, then the mix cell, and that's the correct one because it's in front of the number, which is the row. So then we'll autofill that auto fill down and this time it should work so the first one will always work second one third yep let's go down this time from this way yes it's worked it stayed on the b2 but it's moved down there and if we use control and the tap the key above the tab and tap that you can see that that is definitely what they're asking for so what we've done is we've used mixed cell references to autofill across and get the correct answer. And you can have a little play with this one yourself in how you change it. And then before we move on to an example from the diagnostic, um, I just want to cover the custom number formats. So when we have data numbers in a cell, it doesn't like to be mixed with characters, in other words, letters, and a hyphen would also be um, cons considered a, a letter or a character. So if we wanted to put the IV dash in front of this range, 
What we'd have to use is the number format, so we'd have to customize it. So we'd right click, go to format cells. In the number area, click on the custom and across the top there, you could type in the type of thing you want to use. So we can have an IV, capital IV, dash. Now, unfortunately, if we pop a zero on the end to represent any whole number, we wouldn't click on that zero because if we did, we'd lose the IV hyphen. We have to wrap the, te uh, the text or the character or the letters, whatever way you want to call it, in speech marks because letters, text, characters do not sit in the same cell as data unless you wrap them. A good example would be if you've done an if and you have an outcome of if it's true, it's pass, if it's false, it's fail. Those items, the text has to be speech marked so that it sits within the formula okay. So then if you're okay, you've highlighted the area, you can see that it automatically goes on. And you could do it again here, and you could use a different one. We could use a custom, and we could use an ID dash speech market at any point. Make sure it's the one above the two, pop in a zero, OK, and there you go. So that's custom number format. I'm going to close this now, not save, and we're just going to have a quick look at this diagnostic mixed cell references example. Let's open it up. Give you a moment to have a look at it. Uh, let's read it out together. So this is the overheads worksheets, question 40 in the diagnostic test. Um, and it asks you to enter a formula in D23. So we know that's where we're going to put our answer. Using only mixed cell referencing that will calculate increased salary costs by multiplying cell 23 by cell uh, D21, and then add the original amount C23, and then copy the formula across appropriately. So let's start to do this. So we've got the C23 times the D21, and then plus the original C23 again. So that's fine, that would work. So now we've got to make sure that when we take it across column, it has mixed cell references that work with staying here, but moving across these. So it's this area that needs to move across. So if we go to the C23, we need to use the function F4 key, and we're going to have it by column in front of the C. We're not taking it down the rows. So let's do the other one as well. We know we're going across the column. So we need that to be uh, by column, tick box. We autofill now, and we double click on them to check, escape in between. We can see that it stays on C23, and it's moving across the um, row there. Now, I would consider that to be correct. However, if it comes up incorrectly, there's a reason. The reason is the language saying using only mixed cell references. So even though the D21 is not being autofilled down the rows, it wants everything to be mixed cell references. We know it's, if it was going to be used, it'd be going down the row. So we're actually going to do that mixed cell references by row and click OK, take it across, and then hopefully we'll get the question correct. So that's just an example for how you need to think about um, using mixed cell referencing. And remember there's mixed, absolute, and relative. Okay, thank you.